All right, hello again, folks. We're trying this mill deck, uh, moon stalker deck. Trying it out on live, live server against Eldwin Frostmeyer, who has first play and uh, pretty back, pretty sleeves on her cards. The Shadow Spawn Sleeve, or whatever it's called, I might be mistaken. I don't need the farmers attacking me over that, let alone the fact that I cough in my microphone a lot because I'm just still getting over a cold. Thought I was done with it, but apparently it just comes back to kick me in the face over and over again. Alright, so he's got a Christopher Wild. First turn. That's cool with me. Uh, what am I going to get rid of first turn? Uh, playing against a mage, so I want to keep my regens. I also want to keep those. Uh, I'll get rid of a rain delay off the hop, so that's one down. Second turn for Eldwin Frostmire. Eldwin Frostmire is now in the sacrifice. Oh. Play stage, Dirk Saber comes out to play. A decent two cost ally, if I say so myself. Alright, so I'm going to have to eat a little bit of damage here and sacrifice yet another rain delay for my bazaar. I prioritize bazaar over anything because this deck heavily relies on a good draw. Hopefully. This Eldwin Frostmire allows that. We'll see how it plays out. I don't mind if she wastes item destroys on that. Koreshi. Way to suck my shadow energy. That actually puts a cramp in my uh in my plan. I was hoping to hide from the damage with that for the next round. Alright, so I don't need this bad Santa right now. I do not have a teeth. Alright, so I do believe what I'm going to do here. Try and survive for now. Get rid of this Priest of Light. So I don't get a huge wall of ping, even though it's coming. Um... Fighting against Eldwin is very hard. Uh, doesn't even matter who's behind that deck, apparently. I'm not saying that I've lost to any scrub or whatever, but I'm just saying it seems to be a very powerful deck at the moment. Powerful hero. Mages have always been strong in general. But let's see what we can make happen there. I'm, uh,. I'm not counting myself out yet. Alright. I'm going to try and avoid a little bit of burn here because he's definitely got to be sitting on something for burn. Be nice to get at big teeth. Or uh, evil ascendant. I would, uh, I could definitely use it, that's for sure. Alright. Again, I don't need the bad Santa right now because I have a bizarre that he doesn't seem to mind having out there because he's getting the draw as well. But what I'll do here is I'll add this lone wolf to the mix. Use his ability to avoid any physical damage. And again, I'm still hoping for, uh, a big teeth. I need to make some stuff happen, so big teeth big teeth or an evil crescendo or evil ascendant, sorry, would uh would definitely help things out here. There's that burn I tried to avoid last round. Alright. So we got the evil ascendant. Three costs and a capture prey. 
we have quite a few people out here right now. I'd like to take this Aldon out. So both those are six. But I need to hide from this damage. So I'm going to sacrifice one heal even though I really hate to do that against a mage. I really do. Because they can burn you through your ability, but there's just too much physical on the board right now. Shit, I really shouldn't have did that actually. But alright, we'll see what happens here. It's not how it should have played out. I should have did that on the next turn. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's definitely looking like a loss here, but I'll blame that on myself for some bad play here. Alright. So let's throw this evil ascendant down here and start getting some damage out. Go like this. Still don't have any big teeth yet, but we're gonna try and make do. Alright, so he's going to waste a fireball. That's awesome. <sighs> Alright, so... Alright, so this is how we're going to do this one. We go with Captured Prey here. And Captured Prey here. What we're going to do is use our ability to hide for this round. I wish I had big teeth so I could finish one of these, but whatever. Next round, I do believe I'm going to try and use the Crescendo. see what happens. There's a fireball that will actually hit me. Alright, so I think Crescendo is out of the deal here. Uh, I think we'll go with Shadow. Yeah, we'll go with Shadow Font and Big Teeth here. Let Evil Ascendant do its thing while we attempt to do ours. Slowly regain some hit points. I have a regen sitting in my hand, but. I'm not immune from any burn. That's, again, the major downfall. Alright, again, he seems to have no problem with, uh, with this at all, so. Alright, so that's how we're going to play this one out and really hope that we pull some delay cards. I've been 
silently hoping that for the last two rounds, but uh, I really need like a rain delay. If I even have one left, I'm not even entirely sure of that. So, that's what I'm hoping for. Let's see what happens. One of those full moon cards would also help. I also don't know if I have any of those left. But I need some type of delay to buy me some time to uh, gain some shadow energy uh, and let Evil Ascendant, which I keep calling Evil Crescendo for some reason, uh, but yeah. Alright, see so yeah, I have no choice here but to eat whatever damage he is able to give to me. I will heal as much as I can, I will drop an armor as well. I will kill this. I'm still going to get hit by two allies for a minimum of six damage unless he's got an Aldon. She may actually now I have a little bit of defense here. Or I will. Yeah, there it is. I've been lucky enough to uh, barely hold on in the hit point department, however, with these baddies being able to hit me. This uh, totally, it's a game changer. You really don't want anyone being able to actually physically touch you. Um, the Priest of Light is a really good counter to this deck as well as any other ability that will take away from Moonstalker's Shadow Energy. Alright, so I got another stall now, but it's, uh, it's a little bit late. It's not completely late, but it's a little bit too late. Alright, so he fell for that too, which is good. <coughs> Pardon me, there's that burn again. And he's healing as well. So, out of the four cards he has left, it really depends on how many of those are true burn cards. But I'm getting the good game here, so I believe that I won. We'll see what happens. There's nothing out. And my ability is useless versus magic, so... So is this armor as well, just in case people are wondering. And there it is, the victory screen. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll talk to you later.